Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we're going to take a look at the Soma Prime. I know a lot of people think the Soma Prime is an underrated weapon. I don't think Soma Prime is an underrated weapon. I mean, if we're, if we're really talking about weapons, there's so many in the game that is just overly used, of course, because they're really good. And of course, Soma Prime is just a rapid fire weapon. You know, it's going to get out a little bit outdated, you know, um, where people are, are not going to use it as far more as these other weapons are, you know, way powerful. So, and I'm not saying that Summer Prime isn't, but it's just, uh, you know, it's outdated. You know, everybody gets older of a weapon. We have, of course, Fire Rate of 15. Good. We got Ammo Pickup of 80. And the Ammo Maximum of 800. Magazine is 200, uh, and we have critical chances 30%, critical multipliers three times that, and 10% status. So, all critical chance focus, uh, crit multiplier as well, which is very high. And uh, we have the impact, puncture, slash, all not looking too great of damage, but we're going to make this work. Here's my build. I'm using Galvanized Chamber, 80% multi-shot on kill, 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to five times. Gavinite Aptitude, of course, 80% status chance, 40% uh, percent direct damage per status type effect and target for 20 seconds, stacks it to two times. So really good mods. Vital Sense, of course, 120% critical damage. Stormbringer, Effective Clip, both 90 mods. Um, and of course, Electricity and Toxin, which makes Corrosive. So the next mod that we're going to use is, should be over here. Well, let's use the faction mods because faction, mod, uh, faction mods are going to give us more damage. So any of these uh, from Corpus to Grenier and Corrupted, it's going to add more damage. Serration we're using as well to add more damage. And uh, this is going to make the weapon really good. Keep in mind, I have two builds I'm going to show you guys. I should have mentioned that. But uh, yeah, two builds I'm going to be showing you guys. All right, so this is not the only way. Alright, the next mod that we used is Spree Trigger, actually, to make this go even faster, right? Um, and I just decided to throw it on there. I didn't decide to throw on um, Critical Delay or anything like that. I thought this was going to work out pretty pretty well about this build or how I went about it. You know, this is just many of ways you can build it. But um, if you want to throw on Critical Delay, go ahead. That's up to you, but... You know, just following my way of doing it. Primary Deadhead is our arcane we're going to be using on precision headshot kill. 120% damage for 24 seconds, stacks up to three times. We got 30% to headshot multiplier, 50 decrease on weapon recoil. So, really good arcane here. All right, and um, yeah, that vital headshot is going to be vital, all right, to these enemies. So, yeah, got a good build here. So faster the weapon is, faster the kill is. And as you can see, we're killing all of them. So. This is just one of many ways to build this weapon. But these are going to be the two greatest builds I'm going to be showing you guys. And uh, yeah, the first one you might actually enjoy, so... And don't forget, we also have Prime Rifle and Mutation. Yep, I forgot that mod on there, didn't I? But of course, that's going to increase uh, the ammo pickup of uh, whatever it decides to convert any of the ammo pickup to. So, yeah, you're going to have more ammo because this weapon obviously has 200 magazine. Um, yeah, it's just going to take all your ammo. Alright, eat it up. It's an ammo eater. Just keep that in mind. Prime Rifle Ammo Mutation, like we were talking about, it converts secondary ammo pickups to 92% of the ammo pickup. Alright, so it's going to convert that um, to 92% for rifle. So, great. Alright, this is needed on both of the builds, of course. Um, so, talking about this next build, of course, we got Primary Deadhead again. Appears on this build as well. 
Now we got four mods we're going to be adding to this, all right? And starting with the first mod, it's going to be Prime Magazine. Because Prime Magazine Warp gives us 55% magazine capacity. So that increase, increase our magazine capacity by 310. So that's really good. And it's needed because of this mod that we're going to be using. It's a very important mod. And it does so much red crit damage. You won't believe it. Haita Saitaya. All right. Each hit increases critical chance by 1.2%. Resets upon reloading or holstering. So do not switch your weapon in... Yeah, reloading is going to suck. All right. But that's how you keep it up if you add magazine warp. And using the prime version makes it a whole lot better. So the next mod we're going to be using is critical delay. Critical delay gives us 200% critical chance. Decreases 20% of fire rate, of course. So our fire rate is not too bad and too off. Not none of that, of course. So this is going to be great. Next mod that we're going to use is Galvanized Scope, which is a very, very amazing mod. On headshot, 120% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds. On headshot kill, 40% critical chance when aiming for 12 seconds stacks up to 5 times. So, yeah, you're going to be seeing a lot of pink crits here. All right. So the first start off of this, yeah, it sucks because damage is low. You don't have any damage on this build. However, though, when you start building it up, it just gets even better. It gets a whole lot better, though. Because you're going to start seeing insane record damage on this. Now, we don't have a fire rate mod like, you know, speed trigger. But you don't need it because of the red crit damage that you're going to be um, dispensing, you know? That you're firing at these enemies. So as you can see, not only that, but we do our... We are using viral, of course. So once that viral damage starts kicking in, slash, everything just kind of just falls in place with damage. So pretty amazing build we have here. But this is going to be a big ammo eater because the magazine, of course, our magazine capacity just increased. So just keep that in mind that, yeah, primed ammo mutation is the biggest, uh, we're going to need that mod. And of course, if you use carrier prime with the prime laser rifle or super prime, does not matter. You're just going to need the Vigilante Armaments, Offense, and Favor on. Sweeping. To increase record damage. Alright, for primary weapons. And taking someone prime to the still path with any of these builds. Pretty much amazing. You know, um, I mean, using the record build, I'm just... I'm just, you know, shooting through these enemies, all right? Getting headshot kills. Pretty much easy as that. And they're, uh, they're dying pretty easily, so. And you're seeing great pink. Big, big pink crit damage. Which is, uh, which is pretty fascinating. But those are all red crits just to be, you know, understanding of this. You can change any color you want for any of the, uh, in your HUD, you know, part of your accessibility. So, yeah, just keep that in mind. But anyways, that's going to be all it for this video. If you guys did enjoy the builds, make sure you let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.